of Texas A&M Veterinary Medical Diagnostic Laboratory opened in 1969 with the mission to serve the livestock and companion animal industries in Texas. From 1980 to 2002, Dr. Conrad Eukster served as Executive Director of TVMDL. His tenure at the lab began in 1970, and Dr. Eukster was present for many diagnostic breakthroughs and disease events that impacted not only Texas, but worldwide animal health. The bacteriology section at TVMDL performs analysis on fungal and bacterial specimens, looking to identify a disease-causing agent in the sample. One such agent is anthrax. The spores of this organism can lie dormant in the environment for decades. TVMDL receives anthrax specimens for culture on an annual basis. Bacteriology still does bacterial identification, fungal identification, and antibiotic sensitivities. Well, the techniques have somewhat, some are similar. I mean, this is a plate and uh, this is the type of antibiotic sensitivity test that has been done for a long time. It's called Kirby Bauer. You basically streak the bacteria and you soak these paper discs in certain antibiotics and you see which one kills it better. Mostly it's the size of the ring. You see the top one? That would be a better antibiotic to use than the lower one. But, but well, so this is still being done today and it's a good test. But they're also doing now a test called minimum inhibitory concentration, which also measures the antibiotic resistance or sensitivity to a certain bacteria. And that's done quite instrument-wise, I think. Anthrax was probably the biggest deal for this lab, was this massive outbreak of anthrax in an area which was not known as a big place for anthrax. There are areas in Texas where people have to vaccinate cattle every year, otherwise they may have an outbreak. Falls County, this Marlin area, really uh, was not, but suddenly, I don't know why. I mean, was it a drought before and then it rained a lot and exposed soils? I don't think it was ever established, but helicopters would land right out here every day with a bunch of specimen swabs and they were busy, busy beavers. We do, we still use the, the old cherry phage. Oh, the, fer, the phage, cherry, yeah. the, not the, the string of pearl. No. no, we don't do the string of pearls anymore because we're not equipped with a scope and everything. Now everything has to be done yeah. in lockdown. The there is a phage, it's called a cherry. A phage is a virus that kills bacteria, okay? And there is one phage that only kills anthrax and not bacillus cereus or bacillus other bacilli. So that's a very specific test. But they could also do PCR if it had to. I'm sure there are, there are primers probably that. Yeah, but, but not now, we're not doing that. I remember it was national news. And, uh, and the, the, uh, there were people who were saying, you can't drive through Texas anymore, you know, tourism. But the, 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 the interesting story was, you, you know about a guy in, that worked at Fort Dietrich and uh, the, the guy who sent anthrax letters to the speaker of the house. And that thing, that's actually the one time I talked to Walter Cronkite here in this lab. Wow. That, that time they called it the, uh, the Iowa strain. And what, what happened was, this was an isolate from South Texas Fall furious, and Fort Tetrick wanted to have isolates from. We had several isolates. You didn't have to destroy them. You know? We had several isolates, and this guy, I don't know who it was, at Fort Tetrick said, "Send us some isolates. We want to do a vaccine trial or whatever reason." Fort Tetrick is a military lab. Okay, so we had shipping containers that we got from Ames, Iowa that were free, okay? So as frugal as we were, we wanted to send it to Fort Tietrich, but don't pay the postage. So we, we took the USDA label and put it on the box, and it has a return address, it had Iowa. So the guy who opened the box, 
in Fort Dietrich. He just called this, he saw, you know, Iowa labeled somewhere. He just called it the Iowa Isolate. And it was actually a Texas Isolate. And the dean of Iowa State was all upset. <laughs> said, this is nothing, this, nobody wanted to do it. <laughs> so it, the word got out that this was actually a Texas Isolate. And Walter Cronkite called and said, you know, what, tell me what is this about? It was on the phone, it was never on the, on the news. I wasn't on the news, but on the phone, he wanted to know what the, what the story was. So anyway, that was our tracks. By testing hundreds of specimens from around the world every business day, TVMDL contributes to protecting the health of livestock, poultry, companion animals, exotic animals, racing animals, and wildlife. TVMDL delivers timely, pertinent, and accurate diagnostic test results that are essential for early detection and control of disease. For more information, visit tvmdl.tamu.edu.